Creating a drawing boundary. Traditionally, sheet creation and layout has been a very manual and time consuming process. To overcome this, the drawing boundary feature is provided. A drawing boundary is a predefined area on a sheet model which may contain a drawing. A drawing boundary allows you to quickly and easily define the location of a drawing on a sheet. A sheet may be subdivided into several drawing boundaries. In this section, you will learn to predefine an area in an existing sheet model for placement of a name boundary, and place a name boundary based on a predefined drawing boundary. Here in the MicroStation Connect Edition, begin by opening the Drainage Structures Detail DGN file from the Roadway DGN folder of the SR20 project. Set the active level to Drawing Boundaries via the Level Picker. As a hint, use the search field and type in Draw to truncate the level list. Now, along the ribbon, from the Detailing Ribbon group of the Annotate tab, Select Drawing Boundary. In the Tool Settings window, set the following options. For the Detailing Symbol Style, Default. Detail 1 for the name. Detail for the Drawing Type. And for the Detail Scale, Full Size 1 to 1. You are now prompted to define the first corner of the Drawing Boundary. Issue a data point by snapping to the upper left of the border. Move your mouse down and to the right and issue a data point for the second corner of the drawing boundary. And then the last step is to place the symbol. With the place name boundary tool still active, repeat this process for the lower section. Take notice of how the name field has automatically incremented to the name detail2. Next, open the Models dialog. From here, double click the Design Model. Set the active level to Drawing Boundaries via the Level Picker. Make the Place Name Boundary tool active and set the following options in the Tool Settings window. For the method, by two points, retention basin outfall control structure for the name. For the mode, place a single name boundary and ensure that the create drawing option is enabled. Following the status bar prompt, enter the first point up and to the left of the retention basin outfall control structure detail. Next, move your cursor down and to the right beyond the detail and enter the opposite corner. And finally, issue a data point to accept. Ensure that the following options are set in the Create Drawing dialog. For the name, Retention Basin Outfall Control Structure, that the view type is Detail. For the drawing seed, Views Detail 2D Sheet Only. Ensure that the Create Sheet Model option is enabled. For the sheet, Drainage Structure Details. Detail 1 for the Drawing Boundary. For the Detail Scale, Full Size 1 to 1. And the Open Model option is enabled. Take note that this sheet model is already part of the sheet index. When finished, click OK. The contents of the name boundary is referenced to the drawing boundary that you predefined. Next, 
Click the previous model icon from the View Groups toolbar to return back to the design model. Make the Place Name Boundary tool active again. Keep the same tool settings as before, except in the Name field, change this to Flowable Fill Detail. As before, enter two opposite points around the Flowable Fill Detail, and then enter a data point to accept. Ensure that the following options are set in the Create Drawing dialog. Flowable Fill Detail for the name, that the view type is Detail, that the drawing seed is set to Views Detail 2D Sheet Only, that the Create Sheet Model option is enabled. For the sheet, Drainage Structure Details, Detail 2 for the drawing boundary. Take note, when selecting from the drawing boundary drop down menu, Detail 1 was absent from the list due to the fact that it has already been occupied by another detail. Full size 1 to 1 for the detail scale and that the open model option is enabled. When finished, click OK. The drainage structure detail sheet opens again and here the flowable fill detail named boundary was referenced to the second drawing boundary that you predefined. Next, right click and hold. From the contextual menu, Select Level Off and then identify the name boundary shapes for both details, hence turning off the level. Go ahead now and save the settings. In this section, you learn to predefine an area in an existing sheet model for placement of a name boundary and place a name boundary based on a predefined drawing boundary. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.